Now that you've done all this, you've added text, added an image, created a nav bar, created a link, created a form, now you want to publish your website. To publish your website, it's very easy. You're going to click on File, and you're just going to go down to Publish Site. Otherwise, you've got to click on just Publish right here. If you're not logged in, you're going to have to go to Change User. This is going to bring up this box. Just put your Yahoo name and password. It's what you use for your Yahoo account. Click OK. It's going to bring that up. Now I'm logged in. I want to publish this website. I go to Publish Site. It's going to open. It's going to open up all the a box that lets me select. Right now I'm in ChristianBibleScience.com. I don't want to publish to that. I want to publish to eFinders because that was the one we were working on. And I click OK. Don't worry if you don't see this change. Um, it has changed. You just go ahead and click OK. Now you have two options. You can publish all your files, which is what you'll probably do the first time. Actually, you don't have to use this option too much unless you've lost all your data and you want to republish everything because you made a big mistake. Mostly, you just do only publish modified files. Therefore, every let's say you've added a long video or a um, a bunch of pictures and you don't have to wait for them to upload again. Then, if you just made small text changes, just pick only publish modified files. Then I go ahead and click OK. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to overwrite my websites right now. But you'll see that and it'll just load. Just let it load and you'll be done with your website. So that's how you publish your website. That's what's cool. It's really easy to do. Uh, I publish my websites often um, and it's, it's, it's fun to do. So you get it up there and you get a good look. You can test it out. Let other people see it and it's going to launch it right to your website.